thank you so much for joining me. I've been thinking a lot recently about what we leave. And this started in a very obvious way by going along, seeing in the hedgerows the cans, the empty instant food containers, the litter, the dog poo bags, the whole lot just thrown into the hedgerow, abandoned for somebody else to pick up. Do they think they're leaving their mark on the world? And yes, they are, but in a very negative way. But it's within our remit to leave a positive mark on this world of ours. And not all of us can do that by leaving a wonderful piece of artwork, having written a book or two that people have read and will continue to read for generations, having a statue of us put in place. But we can leave marks of ourselves that are positive. I mean, I'm hoping that the garden that I've created when I move on, <laughs> that that will be a lasting memory of me, even though whoever takes on my house will probably have no idea who on earth I was. But we can leave impressions on people, and those are the most important ones. Yes, we can buy people gifts, but it's more important if we etch out time to spend with family and friends, especially family and friends who are by themselves. And that means so much more than having money spent on us, though obviously I'm not belittling the, the support that we might need with especially the way things are at present. Maybe a, a nice surprise of a hamper or something. But we all leave our mark. If we have children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, we leave our mark on them through nature and nurture. We leave our mark on them through our genetic handout, but also on how we have contributed to their bringing up. Their way of looking at things, their way of considering other people, considering the world, of having standards, or as my mum used to say, it's all down to standards, my dear. So I think that's something of her generation, standards really were important and we seem to have let it slip in a lot of cases. But we do influence people by our reactions to things, how we speak to people, most importantly how we make those people feel. How much better to leave somebody thinking, oh gosh yeah, I feel good, I'm alright, rather than leave them thinking that they are less than anybody else. And I have to say, sadly, I have experience of that. And it does take a long, long, long time to get rid of those horrible negative feelings. But we can by helping people, supporting people, being there for people, leave them with positive self-images. I'd passed a lady yesterday and she was in a wheelchair and I know that it's all too easy to address the person who's doing the pushing of the wheelchair rather than the person in the wheelchair. And this lady had a gorgeous jumper on with lots of colours and I had to say oh your jumper is smashing it looks really good and those colours suit you wonderfully. She moved on with a smile on her face and giving somebody a smile, that's good. And I am being dazzled by the sun, so I will, on that note, 
Oh, there, it's going in now. It was reflecting off a mirror on the wall there. So if you can, do that. Give somebody a smile. Share a cheery word. A smile and a word as you pass by makes somebody's day. And you don't know the paddling going on under their water. So never assume that even if they look okay, that they are okay. You can do it. Smile, and the world smiles with you. And you know that smiling using up, uses up more energy because it involves more muscles than a frown. So you could be doing yourself a, an extra bit of benefit by smiling, using up a few extra calories. <laughs> ha ha. Chance would be a fine thing. All right. Thank you for listening. You take care. And don't forget, leave those positive marks of yours on this world of ours. We need them. We need you to do it. Take care. Bye.